How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Korriban, I have heard, is a mysterious world. It is rumored to hold many ancient ruins of a purpose that none have been able to discover. There are also tales of strange ghosts and monsters haunting the ruins, whispering in the ears of all who would listen and driving them mad. The Jedi are not welcome here, however, so we cannot determine the truth that may lie in these rumors. Korriban remains staunchly outside the Republic, and we suspect that the Sith may have spread their influence here as well. The large Zerka Corporation outpost also points towards that. If the Zerka Corporation is the industrial arms of the Sith Empire, then judging by the size of their facilities here, this may be a very dangerous world indeed. We must wash ourselves closely here. Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Nice to see the Hawk still in one piece. Beauty of a ship, that. Ah, I've seen this little ship before plenty of times. Used to make runs for the Exchange, didn't it? Korriban's nice and remote. The kind of place the Exchange likes. You don't need to worry about me saying anything. I don't give a whit what you do with your ship. Smuggling's what the Hawk was made for, though. Oh, nobody's special. I just do the routine maintenance work for the ships that come in. I used to see the Hawk here all the time. You sure can. Not much. It's a pretty barren planet, to tell the truth. Not of much interest to anyone. Unless you're a Sith, I guess. They seem to think this place is something special. Probably all them ruins they found on the surface. That's the reason they built their academy here, I guess. To dig all them ruins up. There's people that come here from all over Sith space to try and join the academy. Most of them die, I hear. Pretty gruesome business, that. You don't. Not unless you're a Sith in the academy. They're the only ones allowed on the surface. They pay Zerka to ship things in and out, I guess, but that's all closely monitored. I don't know. There's all kinds of hopefuls in the colony trying to get in. Why don't you ask one of them? A star map? You mean like a navigation chart? If them Sith found a star map in those ruins, nobody's ever mentioned it. Yep, take care now. Tonk Nabung Shanun Yang. Kachi Chu Aitha Hautunga. Akum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo. Ibedwana Nipobo. Tonk Nabung Shanun Yang. Kuyami Jus Kachita Naipatoga Yafulki. Ui. Ita Nadana Yitya. Kunti Chani. Rundi Hautunga Kuhunga Bi. Wana Kunbes. Jink Palamul Kachichu Aitha Haut Muchashak Pangpa You can conduct business at our office if you wish. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Watawama Mulira King Kunjope Shak I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. Though the lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows a weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Dunipudu! Rana no prata don't no sercha! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Uh, hmm. You, Jedi! You're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. 
The evisceration works well. Electrocution and blunt trauma also work well. I understand. I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. Let them go. And what could possibly convince me to do that? <laughs> now that has to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. Well, fine. Whoever you are, since you've proven such a good sport, the boys can run off. I'm sure your little lesson will give them something to chew on. Well, there isn't much to do in Dresch Day, except have a drink till your ship's ready to go. I hear you arrived on that old smuggling ship, the Hawk or something like that. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashon. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Commentary. That's the way to tell the meatbags, Master. Charging weapons just in case. This should be fun. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Go on. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! And then... It would be more realistic if the commander just shot them both. Ha! <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Good one! Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. All right then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. Something you need? Nobody you need to know. I'm just here to try to get into the Sith Academy. Ha! They're weaklings, not worth anyone's attention. It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy, after all. I don't know. I've been here for a few days now, and the Sith still haven't paid me any attention. I suppose I should consider myself lucky. I've heard of some of the prospects getting killed. Still, it's all a test, and I'll just have to be strong. Well, you have to impress one of the Sith. The final decision rests with Uthura Ban, however. She's the one who decides exactly which of us get into the Academy or not. I've been hanging out hoping she'll come by and notice me, to be honest. Usually she's in the Academy, but sometimes she comes out into the colony to look for prospects. If she's in the colony, she can usually be found in the cantina, but not always. She's one of the most powerful Sith in the Academy, I hear. Yeah. The Circa Cantina is the only place to go around here for any real fun. I suppose you've heard about Terrace being destroyed. The Republic must have... I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. Must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the Academy. One of my friends in Zerka said they'd been driven off Edean by those Wookiee creatures. Barbaric beasts. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Edean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. 
we may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, was there something you needed? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. I must say, Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine-looking one you have there. Objection. This unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. Certainly. Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. Well, all I know is that they call the site the Valley of the Dark Lords. Apparently, there are Sith Lords of old buried in tombs there. I don't know anything else. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. Do come again! Can you imagine? The Wookiee slaves on Edean have gone insane and started attacking the Zerka outpost there. It must be horrific. You own the Ebon Hawk, don't you? Wish I could fly a bird like... Greetings, friend. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. And out of the way, Starport is a good place for, uh, privateers. Not saying you are one. Wouldn't make any difference to me. Just wish I had a ship like that myself. Business is steady here with the Sith, but it's a boring haul. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, uh, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith, and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to them. Tombs, eh? That makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. No, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Shows what you know. The Academy has a route through the mountain. That's how all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk and want us gone quickly. Not a chance. You'd be better off sneaking through the Academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! <laughs> Now that'd be a sight to see. Sure thing. Good flying, friend. I cannot render assistance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Please, don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. Is there something specific you wanted? And what if I am? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banther, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. I'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You talk to Meckle? Have I proved my worth? Did he say anything? Oh, no. All this for nothing. Dave, leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the Academy. Just, just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, surely. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith, human? And yet, here you are in Little Korriban, just by accident? I find it hard to believe. If it amuses you, however, I'll play along. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. It is the Jedi who serve the Force, trying to discern its wishes like frightened old men staring at the stars. The Force serves us. We shape it to our will. We are its master. The Jedi deny their darkness, but we revel in it. We allow it to fuel our strength. You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. If a Sith is proven to be weak, and if the time is right, the Force rewards the cunning and the mighty. Step up to the challenge if you dare, or turn tail and run. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? As I thought, how interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. Are you ready to go there now? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. <laughs> 